I'm super excited. I've been asked to work with this new company named Wannable. And what I really love about Wannable is they're not a makeup company. They're a company that looks at all brands and just likes to send you, the makeup addict, the best of what's out there. They look at every brand out there and they custom pick the best of what's out there or the most trendy of what's out there. And they asked me to guest curate the, Mar the month of March. And so I picked my favorites for the month of March. And I based on the fact that March is all about pops of color and so everything I chose about March is a hot trend for March. I chose a great gel eyeliner, a great shimmery um, gray green for your eye because every eye can wear that. I chose a beautiful coral lip and a great glowy shade for your lip and a great springy polish for your toes and your fingers. So I'm going to show you how to use that. What I love about Wannable is they're not about a brand. They're about all brands and they work with everybody. And what I was able to do is I was able to custom pick what I liked from every brand. And I, there were brands I didn't even know of. I'd never even heard of them before. But that they, I found products from them that I loved. And these were brands that were custom niche brands. They were brands that just did certain things. And that's what I loved about them is they fine-tuned and perfected those specific things. And if you look in the link below, in the description box below, you can go to Wannable and check more out about Wannable. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to use my box. So watch the video and see how to use my box. So I'm combining some of the hottest looks for spring all together to create my own look. With that, I'm going to combine a pop of color um, liner, which was all over the spring uh, runways, and a glowy, beautiful cheek. Um, one of the hottest colors on every one way this spring for eyeshadow was a beautiful shade of gray green. Now, anytime you're gonna wear a color of any type on the eye, you still need to ground it. And I want to go ahead and shape the eye before I put that color on. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight your lid. I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm gonna highlight the brow bone because I'm going to do a color wash. So I'm not going to do a lot of highlighting, but I'm going to highlight the brow bone with just a matte beige. So I create shape. You can use any matte beige you have. But since I'm using this great gray green that I've picked, I still want some shape to the eye. And then I'm going to use a a little bit of matte beige here. The inside corner of the eye. I'm just gonna take a little bit of taupe to lightly define the crease. Blending it out. So all I've done is taken just any old matte beige as my highlight and just a matte, simple matte taupe as my mid-tone, just to kind of shape the eye, just to prep for my beautiful wash of gray-green. So we've got a little shape and a little bit of grounding before we add that color so I can do a color wash. Now I'm going to do a color wash. So I'm going to take my gray green and I'm just going to do a wash all across the lid because it's just about getting a nice pop of color, almost like we're just doing it smoky. All across that lid. 
I love this color because it's just, it's a great color without being too much color. And anyone can wear it. Layer it on to get the intensity that you want. And then taking a big fluffy brush and blending it out. Open for me. I'll tell you a little secret though. When I was choosing my colors in my look, I was doing it while I was in on a job in Miami and Sally was with me and I actually chose this shadow on Sally. <laughs> so it's one of the reasons why I wanted Sally to be in the video. We just get a really beautiful pop of color on her lid. Again, washing the lid with color. All right, now I love this bright, shimmery green we have. It's just a beautiful, easy to wear color. All right, now we're gonna line the lid. Look down for me. We're gonna do a, a great gel liner. We're just gonna do a nice thin line. All the way across. Liner was everywhere on the runways for spring. Just a little bit of a kick up at the end. Okay, and then now that I've finished the eye liner, look down for me. Just a nice clean line, a little bit of kick at the end, not too thick. You know, liner was all over the place on the runway, thick, thin. I chose in between because I want it to be wearable. I'm going to do my first coat of mascara. Down for me. I'll let them rest for a second. Brush off any excess. Also conceal really well underneath the eye because this look is about being really bare underneath the eye. I already concealed Sally, but I just wanna make sure I've got nice clean canvas. Now, you know, you could wear this color all the way around the eye if you wanted. It's just the look I'm creating because it's a spring inspired look. It's super clean underneath the eye. Like I said, this green, the reason I chose is it's a really easy to wear color for any skin tone, any eye color. I tried it on every skin tone before I chose it. 
little bit of powder. Now just a tiny bit of bronzer before we give that beautiful pop of glow of color of that beautiful cheek color I chose. Now I want your bronzer to be matte. So when you put your bronzer on, grab a matte one. Because with all this color happening, a matte bronzer is going to work best. Those of you that have seen more videos, my videos before, you know, love me a little contour on the side of the nose. A little bit of bronzer. And now I'm going to take the beautiful blush color that I chose. Smile for me. And we're going to pop it on the apples of the cheek to give her that fresh glow as if she had a really good night last night, whether she did or not. Then, I want the lips to have a pop of color, but I don't want a line because the whole look is about it being very just easy. But I want a nice edge to the lips, so I'm just going to lightly conceal the very edge of Su Susie, <laughs> of Sally's lip, just so that we have a nice edge, nice and smooth, no discoloration. And then I'm just going to take this beautiful coral gloss that I chose and just do a sheer sweep of coral gloss on her lips. And the great thing with this trend, about this trend, is even though I've chosen this great lip color, this great blush color, and this great eye color, even though there are three pops of color that can be worn together, is you could also break these up and wear them with more neutral everything else. Like I could just wear this eye color and then do a very neutral cheek and very neutral lip, or I could wear just this cheek color with everything else very neutral, or I could wear just this lip color with very else, everything else very neutral. So you could break them up and wear them with other things. Or they can all be worn together for a gorgeous spring pop of color. In doing this look, remember it's a color wash across the lid, a nice line, not too thick, even though on the Spring Runways liner was everywhere all over the place from very thin to very thick. I kept underneath the eye very clean because I wanted to look fresh for spring. Um, I bronzed first to ground the back of the cheek, then I popped that blush on the apple of the cheek to give her a glow, and then just a sheer wash of that coral gloss on her lips. I'm going to go, go change her hair and we'll be right back with the finished look. Again, love the company Wannable. For anybody that is makeup obsessed, it's your kind of thing. Go on there, be sure and click on the link below. Go check it out. Go check out my box. Again, I picked a great green gray eyeshadow, a great gel eyeliner, a beautiful glowy peachy cheek color, a glowy coral lip gloss, a great fun nail polish for spring. It is the perfect box for everybody out there. So go on, check it out. And check out Wannable because if you love makeup, it is the place for you to be. It has every brand you can think of. It is, actually has brands I didn't even know existed and I love them. So be sure and check it out.